Hello, friends. What are you waiting for? An interesting grammar lesson. Welcome back, all of you, to our grammar lesson today. The lesson is about questions with when and how long in simple past tense. Are you ready? I have a secret for you. Let's watch a clip and discover it. Six questions to keep in mind when you read, when you write. There are six questions to keep in mind. Who, what, when, where, how, and why? Who, what, when, where, how, and why? Who, what, when, where, how, and why? These are six questions to keep in mind. Is the story about what? What happened and what went down? When? When is the time or date? Where? Where does the story take place? How? How did things happen and work out? Why? Why did it all come about? When you read, when you write. There are six questions to keep in mind when you read, when you write. There are six questions to keep in mind. What is the secret? Do you know it? Yes. Okay, so everyone look at this. We have four squares and behind the four squares, they are four presents. Try to answer my questions correctly, okay? The first one, what question word do we use to ask about the places? What, when, where, where? You use the wedding word where to ask about the places. That's right. And this is the present for you. A lovely door. Do you like it? Do you like the lovely door? Yes. Thank you. And next one. People. What wedding word do we use to ask about the people? What? When? Think about it. Who? Oh, that's right. We use the wedding word who to ask about the people. That's right. Oh, candy. Do you like candy? Yes, but don't eat too much. Remember? Okay. Next one. Three, two, one things what wedding word do you use to ask about the things say louder what what right yeah we use the wedding word what to ask about the things good job so the present cupcake Yes. Okay, next one. Tom. Are you sure? Is it a correct answer? I think so. That's right. We use the question word when to ask about a Tom. That's right. And this is the present for you, a handsome robot. Are you happy to get the presents? Thank you. Thank you so much. We use when to ask about the time, but we also use how long to ask about the time too. We use wedding work when 
and how long to ask about the time. Do you remember? Yes. So what is the difference between when and how long? Look at the picture and the two sentences here. They played table tennis yesterday. They played table tennis for an hour. Look at the time expression yesterday. And in the second sentence, the time expression is for an hour. The time expression yesterday in the first sentence we call a point of time. And with a point of time, we use the question word when to ask. In the second sentence, a time expression for an hour we call a period of time and with a period of time we use how long to ask okay listen to me one more time and look at the two sentences they played table tennis yesterday and they played table tennis for an hour you look at the time expressions Yesterday, for an hour. The term is present. Yesterday, we call a point of time. With a point of time, we use when to ask. And the term is present. For an hour, we call a period of time. With a period of time we use how long to ask is it easy to understand so what is a point of time and what is a period of time look at the timeline here is now And this is the first point of time. And here is the second point of time. From one point of time to another point of time. It's called a period of time. Do you understand? Let's play a game. Are you happy? Of course, I am happy too. The game is called Missing Cups. The first sentence. He went to the zoo yesterday. So tell me, what time is present do you see in this sentence? Yesterday? Choose when or how long remember a point of time we use when to ask and with a period of time we use how long to ask which one when or how long anybody say when that's right because yesterday is a point of time, so we use the wedding word when to ask. And here are three cups. The first one with two points plus two points. The second one, bump. Mm. Yeah, you are happy. And the last one plus three points. Okay, so now I mix the cups together. So everybody, you choose the first one. Okay, so let's open it. 
the first cup. Congratulations! Two points for you. Are you happy? Of course. The first cup with two points. And now we move to the second one. He visited his relatives for some weeks. The time is present for some weeks is a period of time. Do you remember? Yes. Okay, and the correct one is how long. We use how long to make a question. Because for some weeks is a period of time. Good job. And a chaser plus one point and bomb in three cups. Be careful. If you open the cup with the chaser, so you will be a millionaire or a billionaire. Ready? Three, two, one. I missed the cup together. Stop. Let's open it. Wow, the treasure for you. And now you will be a millionaire. The next one. The man got angry with me last Saturday. The time is present in this sentence is last Saturday. So tell me, last Saturday is a period of time or a point of time. Do you have the correct answer? Yes. So everybody tell me, say louder. When? That's right. Because last Saturday is a point of time. So we use the question word with when to ask. That's right. And three cups for you. The thief, bomb, and treasure. Be careful with you. So if you open the cup, and the thief comes out. Be careful. Are you ready? Stop, stop, stop. So which one do you want to choose? Three? Okay, number three. Wow, I'm very scared of him, a thief. Okay, don't be sad. Okay, so let's look at the structures. At the beginning of the question, we use when, how long. And after when, how long, we use did. Subject, verb there. Remember, verb there. And an object. Sometimes we use an object. Sometimes we don't use an object. And don't forget the question mark. And how about the answer? Subject. Do you remember? I, we, you, they, he, she, it. Verb ed. Verb 2. Verb ed, we use verb ed for regular verbs and verb 2 for irregular verbs. Object and after the object, we use a point of time or a period of time. So everyone, look at the picture. Yar, she's so happy. And look at the two sentences about her. Her name is Mary. Mary was in Paris last year. And she was there for two months. Look at the first one and the second one. So you see to be worse? Don't worry about it. Look at the time expression, last year. Is it a point of time or periods of time? 
A point of time. How about a question? We use a question word when to make a question. When was Mary in Paris? Yeah, I used to be worse. So you use it for the question. When was Mary in Paris? We don't say when did Mary in Paris? No, because in the answer, I used to be worse. And you use it for the question. Remember. And the time is present for two months. Which one do you use? When or how long? How long? Of course. This is a period of time. How long? How long was she there? Don't say how long did she there. No. I used to be worse in the answer. And you used to be worse in the question. How long was she there? Remember it. And the structure was to be worse were. When? How long? Words or word. And after words or word, we use subject and an object. Yeah, sometimes we use an object and sometimes we don't use an object. And the question mark. So easy? Yes. Okay, so how about the answer? Subject. Was or were an object. So everybody, tell me, what subjects do we use with to be was? I, he, she, it, you got it. High five. That's right. And how about were? You, we, they. Good job. Good job, my lovely students. And don't forget a point of time or periods of time. Yeah. You should copy it in your notebook. So you need a pen or pencil and a notebook. Do you enjoy the lesson today? Don't worry. Let's work it together and you understand more about the lesson. Honolulu is a nice place. His friend went to Honolulu in March. Do you see the underlying part? Okay, so you choose when or how long to make a question. In March is a point of time or periods of time, and we use when or how long. When that's right, in March is a point of time, so we use when to make a question. When is an action verb, so you use the auxiliary did in simple past and verb bear go when did his friend go to honolulu and the second one the next sentence is about honolulu he was there for three days who can make a question for three days is a period of time or points of time a period of time and how about your question? How long? You can see to be worse. So use worse for the question. How long was he there? You don't say how long did he there? You look at the answer. Using to be worse. Okay, so the question. How long was he there? That's right. Yay! Look at the next picture. New York City. Have you ever been to New York City? Yes? 
New York City a big apple. I I was in New York in 2002. So how can you make a question? So you use when or how long? In 2002. Is this a point of time? And tell me your question. When? When were you in New York? In 2002. Is a point of time. So we use when to make a question. Look at the answer. Do you see it to be worse? Remember, Jen, I into you for the question. We use to be word for subject you. So we have a question. When were you in New York? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Great. And move to the last one. Look at the girl. Her name is Nancy. Nancy did her homework in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes. A point of time or a period of time. So everybody tell me how long. That's right. How long and did is an action verb. So we use auxiliary did. Subject Nancy. Verb there do. So everybody read the question with me. How long did Nancy do her homework? So you know how to make the question with when and how long? Yes? Good job. Thank you. Thanks a lot and hope you enjoy the lesson today. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye-bye.